hello guys if you have been following my channel you might have noticed that one of my favorite tools is olama the reason is that olama enables you to run your large language models locally with lot of ease there are only very few commands which you need to run plus the sizes of the models are very small very lightweight some of them you can even run easily on cpu and there are a lot of other cool features which you can use with lot of ease the focus here is on ease because already all of this machine learning artificial intelligence these models and all the auxiliary tools they are hard enough to learn so if we stumble upon a tool which makes it easier to run this stuff fundamentally then we all should appreciate it and in my opinion olama is one such tool that is why whenever i stumble upon a tool which adds some sort of new terminal or extends olama i try to evaluate it and one such tool i just stumbled upon is called as golama golama is a tool which is written in go if you don't know what go is go is a language which is relatively new developed few years ago by google it is a statically typed language which is a compiled high level programming language and this language go or golang excels in networking web development and microservices which makes it a great choice for projects that heavily rely on these features but if you're looking to do prototyping scripting then go is not for you in my opinion so if you are looking to do microservices then golama is a good language anyway but this golama is um, interesting because it is a go based client for olama and with the help of this you can manage the models so if you are a go programmer and you don't want to tinker with python or any other javascript or any other language and you already have various applications which are written in go and you want those applications to interface with large language models then maybe this tool could be a good choice because you can integrate olama with go uh, with go uh, language application with this golama plus you can also link those models which are running through olama to other tools too now it this tool provides a terminal user interface or tui for listing sorting selecting and deleting models and as i said it can also link olama models to lm studio and the creator of this project created it as um, a rewrite of llama link project which is his own project and now it is more user friendly and it has more features i have also tested it out on ubuntu it looks good uh, also there was some errors which reached out to the creator and he graciously fixed them so thank you for that very very quick response again very very new project if you stumble upon any bug any issues go to this github repo and open the issue and the creator is very responsive so really uh, hats off to him so let's go and try to get this thing installed on our local system and then we will play around with it before i do that let me give a big shout, shout out to our friends at mast compute who are sponsoring the virtual machine and the gpu which i'm going to use for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices then i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i will also give you a discount a coupon which will give you a further 50% discount on various gpus no lock in very flexible and very high quality and i have been using it for the last few weeks as you might have noticed the performance is quite good having said that let me show you the local system where i will be installing this golama and then we will be trying to play with it so you see uh, this is my ubuntu system where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 courtesy mast compute and this is the gpu which they have given with this nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram okay so let's clear the screen another thing i would highly suggest is to install conda i already have the conda with 24.1.2 let me clear the screen now let's first create a virtual environment with conda as that will allow us to run everything nice and clean and separate from our local installation so i'm just creating this conda environment with golama and it is fairly quick just press y here and that is going to create the environment for us that is done let's step into that environment by activating the golama 
and you can see that it is visible in parentheses on the left let's clear the screen now before you uh, run this one thing i would uh, suggest and that is a prerequisite by the way is to have obviously go installed if you don't know how to install go all you need to do is to run this command sudo apt install golang dash go and that should install go on your ubuntu system if you're using any other linux flavor just go accordingly and if you want to check the version of go again the command is quite simple go space version so i am running this go 1.22.3 and i would highly suggest you either run this version or whatever the latest one is okay so our environment is done our go is already there let me clear the screen now git clone that repo of go llama and as i said i will also drop the link to it in video's description i'm simply running git clone go llama dot git let's cd to that go llama it is also done and simply run make build that is going to build a project you see that's already done very very clean and easy let me clear the screen now first let's check the version of go llama so i am running this latest version okay and then where is the version okay so it's not it's, it's a development version okay let's list um my olama models all you need to do is to run dot slash golama dash l and these are the olama models i already have on my machine llama 3 moon dream mistral let me also show you so if i just do olama list there you go so olama also shows me the same thing and then um you see that the golama is also showing me the quant which quant is that and then what is the family and then some other stuff okay now if you want to see more options as what is available this go llama then let me clear the screen just run this go llama dash dash help so these are all the options available it's a very nifty little tool and which is good it does few things and does them nicely now let me clear the screen and now let's run it which is a terminal user interface dot slash go llama and there you go you see it is a terminal interface all you can uh, do here you can just go up and down you can check the models like for example if i just press down arrow now i am on mistral i'm on moon dream so let me go to mistral and press enter you see it will start mistral and then you can talk with it so it is just talking to us one thing i have noticed that on ubuntu the formatting is bit off so maybe um this is something to look for for the creator okay so i'll just say by here back here go to llama 3 press enter and now we can talk with llama 3 here it is loading it let's wait for it to load that is also loaded and you can I'll just say this hello there you go see and then go by here and then you can just exit by doing control c so this is how easy it is other than that you can simply uh, maybe filter it slash and there you see filter is there you can say okay moon dream so you see it has already selected the moon so if you have like 10 and 20 models then it's very easy to filter the model and then simply select the model and then run it and you can press escape to cancel and there there are a few other menu items which are appearing at the bottom where you can uh and with the you know you can sort with the name you can sort with the modify you can do a lot of things there so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching